Hey all, today I'd like to read Charlie Hits It Big by Deborah Blumenthal, and it's a Scholastic Incorporated text, or reading book. When Sophie woke up and went to feed her guinea pig, she was in for a surprise. Charlie wasn't there. Everyone ran around the house shouting, Charlie, Charlie, Charlie. Nothing. Not a squeal, not a squeak. Nothing but a note. Off to the coast for an adventure. Later, Charlie. The family looked at one another. The coast? Then Annie looked into Charlie's cage. A clue, Annie shouted, picking out Pigs Big in Hollywood. Meanwhile, high up in the clouds, a 747 was preparing to descend upon Los Angeles, California. On board, munching a vegetarian lunch was Charlie. Will there be anything else? The flight attendant asked him. Got any carrot juice? Tomato, the flight attendant said. Tomato then, Charlie said. On the rocks, baby. At the airport, Charlie got into a taxi. Where to? Hollywood, Charlie said, rubbing his paws together. After checking into the hotel, Charlie boarded a tour bus. But when they got to a movie studio, Charlie crept away from the group and followed a sign that said casting. After waiting on a long line, Charlie was given a paper with words to read. For the part in the movie, Charlie had to pretend he was a man with a broken heart. With his eyes filled with tears, Charlie stared at the camera, dropping to his knees and pounding his paw against his heart, he cried, Find room in your heart to love a beast like me again, and I'll make you the happiest woman alive. Cut, said a man wearing a beret. Come back tomorrow, he said, but lose the tan fur. We're looking for dark and handsome. No problema, Charlie said. The next day, a dark and handsome Charlie came back. With a beautiful actress by his side, he said his lines again. Find room in your heart to love a beast like me, and I'll make you the happiest woman alive. Cut, shouted the editor. You got the part. You're going to be big, he said. Big! On the way back to the hotel, Charlie bought a postcard to send home. Dear Sophie, look for me on the big screen. What a life, Charlie. That night, the director was going to have a party for him. Charlie needed something special to wear. He walked into a fancy shop. Can we help you, sir? Indeed, said Charlie. Minutes later, Charlie emerged from the dressing room. He admired himself in the mirror and strutted around in his new outfit. Now it was party time. There was a long buffet table with all kinds of good things to eat. This was the moment he'd been waiting for. Charlie's mouth was watering. Fruity Nut Buffet. Where was the Fruity Nut Buffet? It had to be there. It was a party for him. Charlie searched the table. Nothing. Not a sesame street seed. Not a pumpkin seed. Not even a speck of dried fruit. He settled for a salad. So Charlie gets to the party. He's looking all over the table. There he is at the cake. Down by the seeds. Nothing. But then there he is at the bottom, eating his salad. 
Then he met lots of people. Darling, people called him. Mon amour. They hugged him. They winked at him. Blue kisses in the air and pumped his paw up and down, up and down. But Charlie didn't even know what to didn't even know them. He didn't know what to say. Photographer snapped his picture over and over until he saw spots in front of his eyes. The room got so crowded that people were crushing him and stepping on his little feet. Charlie felt as if he couldn't breathe. Everyone loved him. He had new clothes and a tummy full of salad, and he was a big pig in Hollywood. So why did he feel afraid and lonelier than ever? He dropped to the floor and crawled to the door. There he is, crawling to the door. He thought about Sophie and how they used to play together. He thought about how he used to sit on her lap while she fed him baby carrots and scratched his neck until he fell asleep. He thought about being home again in Sophie's room without any pushy people and how he could not think of the Pet Food Emporium opening in their town with the ad that said, Fruity Nut Buffet, buy one, get one free. There he is, thinking about Sophie. There he is, thinking about the Fruity Nut Buffet and the Food Emporium. Charlie leapt up and ran back to his hotel. He packed up all his clothes, went into the fancy bathroom and took the almond soap, the coconut shampoo, and the shine cloth. Then he went to the lobby. Taxi, he said, waving his paw. Hours later, he was back in his small hometown. When he got to his front door, he knocked and knocked and knocked, but no one answered. Finally, a light went on. Who is it? said a voice from behind the door. It's me, Charlie! The door opened a crack. Sophie stared and stared. Charlie, is that you? She asked. But before she could answer, before he could answer, Sophie scooped up Charlie in her arms and squeezed him. Charlie, Charlie, Sophie said. You came back. Yes, Charlie said, dropping his head on Sophie's soft shoulder. Charlie looked into Sophie's blue eyes, and then he looked at his cage. Leaning against it was a sack of fruity nut buffet with a red ribbon tied around it. Charlie smiled a big toothy grin. Find room in your heart to love a beast like me again, and I'll make you the happiest woman alive. What? Sophie said, looking at Charlie strangely. That's Hollywood talk, Charlie said. Forget about it. The end. I hope you all enjoyed. Charlie hits it big.